All right, time for a thermometer check, everybody. What do we got here? Oh boy, it is. About Stay tuned. Hey you, read this. Seriously. Come on. In the morning, yeah, I'm a little bit slow. But I'm thinking the dogs may be ready to go. It's 32 below Fahrenheit, 35 below Celsius. Fun, 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 till your daddy takes the teeth right away. <laughs> cool, he's... My eternal optimist is obviously ready to go. And Starbuck was born ready. Start my little girl. And then there's my little cutie. He's the one that keeps looking back at me going, Hey, come on, can't we go any faster? Yeah. Time to harness up. Katie's got Ahab ready to go. <laughs> and with some excited dogs and some challenging terrain right out of the gate, Let's just say getting to the sunrise incredible was not drama free. Katie and I both ate it. She ate it twice. I ate it once, but uh, I had to hang on, and, and the uh, sled went over, so it held the dogs tight, which is nice. Uh, kind of tweaked left bicep, so I'm gonna it hurt a little bit, but I'll be fine. It was uh, it was worth it. You know, I'm a sourdough pancake. And while the sunrise coming up over Denali is absolutely beautiful. It's with a price. We're getting a little bit of a breeze this morning. It's basically some atmospheric mixing. The incoming radiation over my shoulder is starting to mix with the cold, dense air down below. It shouldn't last too long, but it makes things a little bit colder when you got a 30 below temperature and a little bit of a breeze. And that 30 below temperature is making that shoulder injury a little more interesting. And you got some rumbunctious dogs. Diamond rain. And soon the late rising Alaskan sun coming over the mountain decides to drop by and shine a little light. Okay. A lot of light. And even at 30 below. <laughs> How you doing? I love vitamin D. <laughs> a little further down the trail, we came to a complete stop, and a human emerged from the woods. When we stopped for lunch, I asked John, who was that? So we're breaking for lunch, and I uh, just got the lowdown. The park ranger actually was out on his snow machine, and, uh, and, he, and he dumped it uh, and was disabled for a while. So uh, it was a lucky thing we came around. He was going to have to send out another sled. So we got his machine righted, and uh, that caused a little bit of a dip in the trail. That's what we had to go down, but we made it safe because we rock. As lunch was being prepared, I again indulged my inner weather geek. One of the things we're dealing with on this trip is the temperatures have gotten so cold that the snow has pretty much zapped all the moisture out of it. I mean, look how dry this stuff really is. So it's hard for the runners and, of course, the dogs with some of the bare tundra to go over this snow. But Sam and Strider don't seem to be phased by it. Starbuck and Ahab say, no problem. And Dar says, can we go? Please? When lunch break is over, you just say one word. Hike! And off we go. Now see that wooden post coming up on the right? That sound was the sound of my skull making contact with it. But I'm not worried about that. Uh, yeah, we're, we're hitting our groove pretty good. Of course, you know, <laughs> there's that steep hill coming up at the end of this day that uh, is the one I ate it on last time. So I'm... Uh, Kind of going forward with a little trepidation. <laughs> and that trepidation is somewhat founded. The terrain is becoming quite a challenge. Now we're just an issue here. I'm trying to hang on to a camera and avoid getting the sled knocked over is kind of a challenge. And the dogs just naturally love to speed up around corners, which is tossing me around a bit. And though my camera is capturing it on film, I'm completely oblivious to the fact that one of my middle dogs and one of my lead dogs are about to become entangled in each other right there and the whole situation derails. That was the damnedest thing. Just after I got done talking to you, I had to shut you out because we were going into some rush. After a few minutes of untangling, I get back to work. When we went through it, one of the lead dogs got tangled, and uh, the other lead dog's neckline got clipped. I guess it hit some brush, and it actually opened up the clip and then closed the clip on my swing dog, the middle dog's neck, so they got connected the front and the middle. 
and uh, we had to stop and take care of that because that's not good. Now we're going to some more brush. And though more challenging terrain lay ahead, so does that hill. You know, the one I ate it on. The first time out, it looked a little something like this. Here's where I ate it. Coming down. But this time out, I'm a lot more savvy, and my team is a bit more tired. So the conclusion is almost disappointing. Made it over the hill. Everything intact. Sweet. Our arrival shows it's actually colder temperature. than when we left. We're at the temperature where basically Celsius and Fahrenheit come together. 40 below. Look at that. Wow. John knows a nice hot meal is just what the doctor ordered. Some moose stir-fry, if you will. Mm -hmm. To be followed by my nightly routine. That's a good sign. At 40 below. Ooh, that's an even better sign. Backing up is a good idea. Look at that. So I take care of my trusty little camera. And shall we say a little post-dinner business. I'm thinking that's all you need to see of that. Just before bed, we decided to have a little fun. <laughs> it's time to show our foreign travel companions a little Alaska tradition. You see, at the right temperature, hot water will instantly freeze. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's crazy. But as cool as it was, at 40 below, you have your fun, and then you get back inside. You curl up and let the dogs sing you to sleep. It is. In our next edition, we'll rise to temperatures that have continued to plummet. It's about 40. Uh, yeah, about 45 below. Wow. Even the most seasoned Iditarod champ would say, that's cold. That's bad. The thing that concerns me about this warm front, but it's something warm. Pretty good size, and it's coming in fairly quickly. Start to feel a little brief. That will capture my attention. <laughs> wow, look Dog at that. injuries. <laughs> and Katie will take one for the team. Come on, everybody, open up your mind. What you do not see, you shall not find. Never be afraid to open your heart. Come on, everybody, just let yourself go. You're fooling yourself if you think you're in control. Written in the stars, it can never be us. So see it, release me. It.